it's been 50 years and people still remember the exact moment of the moon landing. Yeah! Bringing the community together for something like this. This is the chance to kind of relive that. ODU is actually a really good place to do this just because of how much NASA means to the area here. So we started off some of the day with uh, planetarium shows, like a full dome movie, all about the Apollo series. We have a telehealth conference, uh, which was showing off different things we can do, like current technology, and essentially go to your doctor, but remotely. We've got virtual reality. We can actually walk on the moon and see the moon landing and kind of count down with Neil Armstrong and walk with him on the moon. We can actually touch a piece of the moon. So we have a, a lunar meteorite that came in from the moon. We have an astronaut glove. Yeah, how does it feel? <laughs> I was manning the uh, astronaut glove try on booth so we had a lot of kids and a lot of adults people loved it they were asking a bunch of questions touching it opening up all the different uh, pockets it was funny to see uh, some of the younger kids that would come all the way up to their like elbow all the kids were excited about it well it's a remarkable opportunity for all of us to remember a very special moment albeit 50 years ago but on july 20th 1969 two men looked up at the night sky and saw the Earth. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin stepped onto the moon. The eagle had landed. There was one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Well, we all know this world needs more young people who go into STEM-related disciplines. So hopefully this excitement of what these astronauts were able to do triggers somebody to say, I want a career, whether it's as an astronaut or a physicist or a biologist.